treasure for Misty. Misty here. Welcome or welcome back. So I did get a suggestion from someone to do unicorn nails. Now I will probably be doing that sometime next month. I already have this video recorded so I wanted to go ahead and post it before it got too old. So I'm doing my base coat here. It is the OPI 2-in-1 base and top coat but as you may or may not know I don't put it on top just on the base to protect my nails from staining and this is another Revlon color of course because their metallics are super easy to work with and super bright and I just really like them so this one is gold it's called like penny or something I don't know I don't always look at the labels I just look at the colors and decide what I like and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the spillage I don't know why for some reason with this uh, paint session, I went kind of crazy and painted all over my fingers. So it did take me a while to get those cleaned up. And now I have to just wait for the base coat to dry because the next step involves putting tape on top of a coat of polish and I don't want it to peel the, the base coat off when I peel the tape off. This is a nail polish I bought at Charm and Charlie a long time ago. It's not a very good polish. It's really like thick and blobby, which is why I did so many coats because it's hard to get it smooth. And I always take the tape off while the polish is wet. I have tried it both ways, waiting for it to dry and waiting, like letting, doing it while it's wet. And if you wait for it to dry, it kind of just peels the whole coat off. So I always try to do it while it's still a little bit wet. Sometimes it's challenging, uh, but what can you do except practice, which is what I've been doing. I didn't really go for a distinct pattern here. I was just kind of throwing tape on in an order I could possibly remember so I could take it off in the right order. And of course, going in with my Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat, which is not a gel. It does not require a black light to cure. It's just a polish. And there you have it. You can do this super easy at home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to Treasure for Misty on YouTube. Please leave your requests in the comments or email them to me. And of course, check out Patreon for exclusive Patreon content at patreon.com slash treasure for Misty. I put out new videos every day, so I hope to see you tomorrow.